Hello, hello, hello people. Welcome to Power Drift. In this episode, we look at another crucial yet often neglected aspect of owning such a beauty. Setting rider sag. What does that mean? Basically means setting up your motorcycle as per your weight. And that is done so that the suspension is working in the range where it works best. And you do that by tweaking uh, the springs of the fork and the shock by adjusting the preload setting. Why should you bother with all of these things? Well, because all manufacturers, when they make a machine like that and they sell it, they set up the suspension keeping a rider of about 70 to 75 kgs. So if you don't fit that range, a good chance that the handling and the right quality of the machine won't be as you want it to be. But fret not, because we are here. Help you set up the bike as per your preference in these easy steps. However, I recommend going through your owner's manual to see if it lists any special equipment which you would need for this process so that you can get them before you begin. And also keep the default settings of your suspension handy so that if you get the preload wrong, you can always revert and start fresh. All set, let's begin. So first up, let's start by taking the measurements of the springs of the fork and the shock in their fully extended position without any weight on them. Have one of your friends lift the front of the bike on the side stand and take the measurement from the fork seal to the base of the inner tube and note this down. Now to get an accurate figure for the rear, find a spot on the fairing which is vertically in line with the center of the rear wheel spindle and mark it with a duct tape. Then lift the rear wheel using the side stand and take a note of this reading between these two points. Now let's get the measurement of a fully kitted rider on board the bike to see how much the forks and the shock compresses in his riding position. On you go. Now compress the front a couple of times and let the forks settle to account for steel drag before you take the measurements. Note this reading and repeat the procedure for the rear shock. The recommended rider sag settings is usually 20 to 25 mm for track use and 25 to 30 mm for road use. And how do you get this figure? By subtracting the rider laden figures from the fully extended numbers that we got earlier. So now that we have the figures, we know that we need to take some preload out from the forks and dial some in at the back. Now how do you do that? Well, at the front, you need to turn the adjusters in the anti-clockwise direction. But before you do that, make sure you mark the starting point on the adjuster so you know exactly how much preload you are adding. Because one turn on the adjuster roughly amounts to about 1 mm of preload. Also note that this is the Z1000, which has Showa's separate function forks for preload and damping. Which means I'll only be changing the preload on one fork. But for conventional setup, you need to change the preload on both the forks. So now that we have made the adjustment, let's get our rider on board to see how close we have got to the optimum sag range. Okay, so the front is set. Now let's move on to the back. So we're tweaking the preload at the back for most super bikes will require you to adjust these two collars with a C-spanner. And before you get started again, make sure that you mark the starting point so you know exactly how much preload you're adding or taking out. And one turn, in this case, usually equates to about 3 mm of preload. So you loosen the top ring which keeps the preload ring in place and then turn it to the required setting, in this case, in the clockwise direction to add preload. So now that you have verified the rear sag using your rider, you can go on and lock the ring and you're all done. Remember, this is just a starting point and a push in the right direction to help you give the confidence to play with the preload to get the most of your suspension and also make a very solid base to help you tweak your compression and rebound. Something which we'll obviously cover in the next episodes. But for now, this is all from my end. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please bombard them and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And lastly, subscribe to Power Drift to be a part of the PD Army. Cheers.